Elliott has acquired the top 3% of high-end properties in LA in under five years. An achievement I would say is quite remarkable. What they're offering us is salvation, an opportunity for us to all win. Either we take the deal or we die a slow, painful death. Well, I wouldn't say that. You have a better idea? <clears throat> um, I, uh, I, um... It's an age-old adage. If you can't beat them, join them. If you have something to say, say it. We're not mind readers. The ship's going down. I would like to retire respectfully. I'll make that decision, President. Yes, of course. But I have to admit, I'm inclined to agree. In the interim, I would like to know exactly how many cents on the dollar. Crunch these numbers for me, Preston. Get back to me right away. Absolutely. Gentlemen. You said you wanted to sit at the table with the big kids. Well, now you're here. I know, Dad, but I think we can save this. Just remember something, honey. Pride comes before a fall. I believe in you. Coach Lombard is an asshole. I really don't like it when you swear. She acts like Monica is God's gift when Monica can't block to save her fucking life. No. Mom, don't be so lame, okay? Come on. Are you kidding me? You're not an adult. You can't drink. This is not good for you. Oh, please. You drink. I'm an adult. Well, I'm an adult. Practically. Fine. I'll just get some old perv to get it for me like normal. You know, that's not funny. Mm. Mom, what'd you make me for dinner? Right over here. So can you at least pick a school that you're not going to party at every day? <laughs> Mom, I'm not gonna party every day. I'll be playing volleyball six days a week. I'll be too tired to party. A whole week without me looking at schools. I wanted to be a part of that. I'm sorry. Jessica's parents will be there the whole time. I just, I don't want to rush this. You know, my dad told me where to go. And that's where I went. Well, I'm not you, Mom.
can't believe I did that. God. <laughs> yeah, way to dine and dash, Mom. Hurry, please. I've got to go back there and get my card. Oh, hang on just a second, okay? Dara! What? Go! Homework! Bed! Oh, fine. Hi, Mom. Great, thank you. I'm so sorry that I forgot to sign. It happens. <laughs> I figured you weren't some kind of degenerate. Great. Thanks, sorry again. Hey, don't go. Sorry? Don't go. Um, excuse me? I want to talk to you. What would you want to talk about? Nothing too crazy. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. Have a drink with me. You know what? I can't. I just forgot my card. I gotta go. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Ryan. Michelle, nice to meet you, but I really gotta go. Have a cigarette with me. Um, I don't smoke. Yeah, you do. So what do you do? Doesn't matter. Well, it does make for play conversation. I do various things. Oh. What do you do? It's an intriguing answer. Um, I work in an office. I can tell. Just that I. I'm sorry I wasted your time. It was nice meeting you. Hey, sure. hey. You didn't waste my time. I got the honor of meeting you. First ministers meet for dinner, but disagree on exactly what the prime minister put on the menu. And gearing up for another round in the battle over one of Canada's oldest forests. Now the details, Bernie. Good morning. They met, they talked, but they accomplished little. Prime Minister Kim Campbell had invited the provincial premiers to a dinner last night to discuss their concerns. ROI in our wheelhouse is going to suffer tremendously. In the short few years they've been involved in residential and commercial properties, they have suffered a combined loss of 19%. That's a $64 million write down. The market will rise, and when it does, that will be way more than 64 in the black. 
Over half those properties are in Beverly Hills and Brentwood, for Christ's sakes. Their properties aren't rising, with the exception of those on the west side, which are virtually bulletproof. And you discount everything in West Hollywood? It's really going to hell down there, isn't it? The only reason that they are seeing returns is because their cash flow is unaffected. Their current means of operation is not sustainable. It's going to hurt them. You're sure about that? I'm positive. Milan Properties is the cornerstone of the Los Angeles market. We've been here for 40 years. I'm sure that I can provide a proposal that will show them that Milan Properties is the valuable asset they deserve. Well, if you can do that, we'll reevaluate. Until then, I, uh, I can't see any reason why they didn't remotely want to keep us around. I second that. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. You do realize that this company has lost over $100 million in the last two years. We're going to make the money back, and then some. I promise. The entire board votes to sell. You're the only one that opposes, Michelle. Dad, Elliot's real estate investment strategies, they're flawed, OK? If we merge, we can help them. We can save our company. We don't have to close our doors. Michelle, I love you. If you're going to throw a last second Hail Mary, you better make sure Elliot doesn't pull this deal off the table. So sorry to drop by unannounced, but you're a difficult person to get a hold of these days. Yeah, um, work's been kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. So your assistant tells me. Well, I, I figured, you know, because you've been working so hard, you're probably too tired to cook, so I brought dinner. You know, a little Chinese. I, I got your favorite, steamed chicken with veggies and a whole handful of duck sauce packets. Come on. How's Dara? Did she pick school yet? Um, she's looking. You know, I, I saw this when I was out at the store the other day. And thought it might help. Oh, wow. That's really thoughtful. Yeah. Thank you. She's a wonderful kid. I mean, I'm sure she's going to make the right choice. I hope so. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about us, about the future. I, um, got you something. Go on, open it. Do you like them? Hey, what's wrong? I'm so sorry, but I cannot accept those. Would be right. Did you meet someone else? No, no, it's not that. It's my company is going under. I have a presentation to make. My daughter's going away to college. I have a million things on my mind. I'd... Look, I know you've been stressed out because of work and everything else. It's, I, I, I understand that. Just, I thought it would be something we could work through. 
I mean, I'm, I'm patient. I want to be there for you. George, I don't feel that way towards you. I don't have that spark, you know, like that thing that you're supposed to feel, that, that it thing. I don't, I don't feel it. That sucks. I'm sorry. Look, I... I think you just need some time. At least that's what I hope it is. I'm gonna go. So, I got your Hollywood and Pacific Palisades reports and your coffee. Great, thank you. Thank you. Hey, any returns? No, sorry, I left two voicemails. Oh. Okay, well, keep calling back every half hour. Will do. All right, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for the return. I was going over our acquisition, and I think with your cash flow and our expertise, we could make both our margins grow, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to meet face-to-face, -face, have lunch, talk it out. The Four Seasons, yes. Two o'clock. Uh, yes, two at the four. Thank you. See you soon. We got a meeting. <laughs> If we sell, can I still be your assistant? Well, if we sell, we're both gonna be out of a job. <laughs> this is good. Hello? You changed your mind? Yeah, hi, Ryan. Bad time? No. I'm having lunch at a buddy's pad. Why don't you join me? Um... We lit up like angels. Michelle. Hi. How are you? Terrell, how are you? I'm good. I just want to say how much I love my new condo. It's made a world of difference. It's changed my life, like night and day. It's no problem, anything for a friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's so good to see you, you look you great. Too. You too. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. See you, man. Good, how are you? Good. It's good to see you again. <sighs> So I can only stay for a little bit, okay? I have a meeting at 2 o'clock, and it's like a half an hour drive away. Relax. Uh. <sighs> Relaxing is not my strong suit. I know. <laughs> you know? What's up, Ryan? Up there. It's up there. How do you two know each other? Well, we're <sighs> new friends. Small world. <laughs> We gotta hang out again, bro. <laughs> that night has to be relived and relived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave you two alone. I can take a hint. Good to see you. I honestly don't know what night he's talking about. Mm. I don't drink in the afternoon. <clears throat> yeah, you do. Know. Continue. 
and friends. To new friends. I've been wanting to talk to you. What did you want to talk about? Your fantasies. What are they? That's a very unusual question to ask somebody you barely know. What makes you wet? I don't think anybody has ever asked me that before. I just did. Two Johnny Walker blue shots, courtesy of Terrell Owens. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take that. He's watching. No. I have to take this. It's my assistant. Uh -huh. Hello. Right. Um, we could change that. Can you call and maybe push to tomorrow, or, um... <laughs> something like that? I don't know, just tell him there's an emer emergency or something. I don't know, just tell him there's an I emergency. emergency. Thank you, Lee. That was really stupid. That was really stupid. I should call him back. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. This is it. This is my office. your father said take me to your father's office right now okay I can't I can't my dad has a fundraiser and I have to give a business partner my Mia Copa for the meeting I missed when we gone what time you can't. You can't go. Why are you so scared, Michelle? I'm not scared. He's not your daddy anymore. I'm your father. I'm your master, your husband, and your god. I'm your daddy. Be afraid of me. Be afraid of what I'll do if you don't obey me. I'm gonna take you somewhere. Where are we? You'll see. He's with you? What did I tell you? What? I'm sorry. Oh my god, I probably had like 10 missed voicemails and nasty emails. Oh my god, it's my dad. Um. Hello?
Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I was on my way to the meeting. My phone died and then I got lost and I was stranded, but I met this good Samaritan who let me charge my phone and I just now got all the messages. Well, I'm sorry. Can you just apologize for me? Tell him I'm sorry and there's nothing I can do. My phone died and my hands were tied. Tomorrow. <sighs> yes, I will be there. 1,000%. With three chargers. Yes, I will be there. I will personally apologize face to face to Jesse tomorrow. You hung up on me. I must be really pissed off that I blew off that investors meeting today. There's just so much pressure. All the time. Don't worry. Just take it away. <sighs> I like you, Michelle. Huh? You know, like a lot of these stupid little girls I meet. I like you too. You're, um, different, to say the least. George, what are you doing here? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Where have you been? George, you know, it's not okay to just come over unannounced. What happened to you? I mean, I thought we had something here. What? I'm seeing someone. What? Who? That's not an appropriate question. I mean... George, I need you to leave. But look, Michelle, I can't believe George, this is happening. George, you need to go. I'm sorry. But, but I'm sorry. Tell me what... I'm sorry. When my father was in the late stages of the disease, it was one of the scariest, most hideous times of my life. Numerous friends were affected. Some of them passed. Some of them are still here with us. And some of them are in this very room as I speak. Every one of us will know someone connected to this disease. That is why I ask you, my friends. Dig deep into your pockets. Please continue to help St. Francis in their battle to try to find a cure for this grueling disease.
Speak of the devil. Hi. Were you two in the bathroom together? No. No, I was just fixing my makeup. Michelle, this is Jesse from Elliot and Associates. You're Michelle Milan. Jesse, it is so nice to meet you. I'm really sorry about the other day. It's fine. I like missing my workouts to get blown off. I, I truly apologize. And you are? None of your fucking business. And you're here because? Because it's a free fucking country. <clears throat> I would really like the opportunity, perhaps, to sit down and maybe restructure the terms of your agreement. Now is not the time to discuss business. It's too late. What do you mean? Uh, um. What I mean is I think that a merger might be more beneficial than an acquisition. Give me one good reason why you think that Elliot would benefit from merging with Milan. Milan has a reputation and a loyal clientele base. These are very valuable assets. Milan Properties has lost over $100 million in the last two years. Your company is falling apart. If you don't take the deal, your company, your clients, and uh, your reputation will clearly crumble. Well, I could prove to you with hard numbers that a merger would make you more money. <sighs> I'm okay. Michelle, are you drunk? What the hell? I'm gonna give you one more chance because of your father. He was good friends with my father, and, uh, and he is the only reason why I would even agree to think about his pitch. Besides, uh, this uh, son of a bitch right here went to Wharton, which is where I went, and he's been after me for years. Well, I'm sure that when you hear from me, which will be very soon, I will have an offer that you cannot refuse. You, uh, you have a little something there. <laughs> Look forward to speaking to you soon, Jesse. Sure. What is your problem? Don't talk to me like that. You could cost me my job. Admit it. You liked it. <laughs> Drunk. No, I'm not. I only had a couple of champagnes at the benefit. Is that red lipstick? Oh my god, what happened to bore me beige? <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god, you've been kissing. Yes, you no, have. I, no. Oh god, please tell me it wasn't that douchebag Preston from the office. No, god no. <sighs> not George? No, George is gone. Oh thank god. Tell me it's not some online dating loser or something. I believe you date people that you meet online. Yeah, but mom, for middle-aged people to be trolling the internet for sex, it's weird. Middle-aged people? Oh, mom, come on. Ugh. But people my age, it's totally normal. Are you sexually active? Are you? He must be pretty good. He left you speechless. Okay, and then uh, sign it uh, yours truly. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Have a seat, please. Preston brought me up to speed. I'm also aware of the fact that you blew off your meeting with Jesse. Smooth, Shell, real smooth. Sorry about my behavior lately, Dad. Ryan Black? Really, Shell? A drug dealing car thief in front of our colleagues? What were you thinking? 
sorry. <sighs> I mean, I'm so sick and tired of hearing those words come out of your lips, Michelle. I really am. You had sex with someone in the bathroom at the Alzheimer's fundraiser. Uh, do you have any idea how embarrassing, in front of people that I have depended on to raise millions of dollars for St. Francis for many, many years, your disgraceful and reprehensible behavior is a reflection on our family's good name? I promise you, I will never let my personal life interfere with my work again. You have my word. I am 100% dedicated to this company. Your professional life should never involve condoms, Michelle. Note to self. Moving on. This deal with Jesse, it's a big one. Our entire family's legacy depends on it. No, I know. Listen. I've been doing a lot of analysis and the way Elliot has been structuring their real estate investment deals and the locations that they're picking. And I think with our expertise, you know, we don't have the capital they have. So if we could just get them to purchase where we can't purchase, then I think our expertise and, and their capital, we can make something work. You know, we don't have to be acquired. We can, we can do a merger and we can run their real estate division and, and, and make them tons of money. And I think they're really gonna go for it. I think they really will go for it. I just, I just need a little bit more time to work on the projections and, and it's there, it's there. Michelle, you're not ready. I am inclined to sell against my chief officer's financial advice, I am going to give you a window. A very short window, Michelle. And only because you're my daughter and I love you. Don't fuck it up. Now go. Okay. I'm calling to get the sale price, yeah. Well, I understand that the sale price is not available to the public, but I'm not the public, I'm a realtor. Everything is for sale. Listen, maybe we got off on the wrong foot, okay? Let's try this again. What if I have messengered over a thousand dollar check? Do you think then you could dig up the sale price for me? Michelle Milan for Peter Saunders. I see. Well, I'm sure he could call me back, but I think he's going to want to hear what I have to say about the Pacific Design Center. Yeah, I'd rather not leave a message and have him call me back. No, and I think he'd be really disappointed if he found out that you left me holding, especially considering I could probably make him about a billion dollars right now. Paul, hi. Yes, I have some very intriguing news for you.
sleeping all night. Get away from my daughter. Why would you go after her, Ryan? Wait, you know each other? I will call the police. They will throw the key away. For what? For meeting a girl and not having sex with her? Shut up! You're weak! Both of you! And you're always gonna be weak! Get out of here! Is it three o'clock already? It's three seventeen. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I was just finalizing some numbers. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what do you got? As we know, Elliot and Associates has been primarily involved in technology. W where are the numbers? You said you were going to make a valid argument. Yes, it's just that the numbers are gonna take a little bit more time. They're a little bit more comprehensive than I at first anticipated, so I just... With all due to... respect, I recommend that we take their offer before they pull it off the table. I'm inclined to do just that. You know what, no, Dad, please just... Please we... what? There's a $150 million deal on the table here. Preston, I want you to head up this acquisition personally. The usual suspects involved. Take no prisoners, kill them all. You know what, Dad? I can fucking handle this. I've got it. I know what I'm doing. Would you gentlemen excuse me for a moment? Step outside for a minute. I should leave that pain to the experts. Suck my dick, slave. You stay the fuck away from my daughter. I swear to God, you will regret the day you were born. You know what? When I met you, I knew you were weak, pathetic, divorcee that needed some dick. I gave you what you wanted. I turned you from a mousy little weakling to a sex goddess. You should worship the ground I walk on. Fuck you. Go crazy, Dan. If I want to fuck your hot daughter, I will. What I want. It's to send a very clear message that I can and will kill you. Your nipples. 
nipples. They're offensively naked. It's too tight. It's not tight enough if you can still talk. <laughs> not as bad as I thought you'd be. What did you learn? Stay away from you and your daughter. Good boy. Good boy. Jesse Aaron. Do you have an appointment? Can you let him know that Michelle Milan is here and I should see him immediately? Okay. Someone did some work. Yeah, I did. So listen, when Preston and my dad come, have them join me here immediately. You got it. Thank you. Michelle Milan. Nice to meet you. He's ready to see you. Great. You've got a lot of balls, Michelle. Have a seat. Thank you for your... Don't thank me yet. <laughs> I, um... I have a proposal for you. I've been doing research. I've discovered the properties that they are looking into and the ones that they've recently acquired. I think that I might have a solution that can both benefit us and all of our problems, and them. Hear me out. 925 Cannon Drive, 136, one old Beverly Drive. These are all properties they are going to close on, all in Beverly Hills. You listening? Look at me, not at the ground. You can get us these properties. I have done the research and I've looked at your current real estate profile and this expands your target areas. We have exclusive access not only to that building but to all the properties listed there. Now, understanding their business model, we can provide them. Just us, because of our reputation and our connections, we can provide them with 33 Red Book and 480 Doheny. That's a hundred million dollar estate. Yes, it is. Preston, and a hundred million dollars is nothing to them. Don't interrupt me again. Oh, the numbers look promising. Ambitious. I put a lot of time and energy into it. I like money, and that's it. So what's to stop me from just buying this all up myself if we wanted to? I don't believe you'd do that. I mean, I have an NDA disclosure if you'd like it. I wouldn't sign it for me. But I won't steal your game plan or poach your contacts either. I'm not a dick like that. What do you know about the Pacific Design Center? $325 million building. It's failing. How do you know that? Because I did the research myself. I spoke to Paul Saunders, got the information directly from his mouth. I also obtained a selling price. You've 
put together quite the ambitious proposal. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. With your capital and our resources, we can run LA. I heard the pitch. I heard what you said. Look, I'll have my guys review this, and if we like it, we will maybe restructure our offer, or merger, rather. Okay, well, in the case that you do like it, I've gone ahead and drawn a little something up. If they go for it, we stand to make $400 million in the next six years. How are you going to get Elliot to go for it? Well, that's simple. We'll sit down and have a little face-to-face. -face. Jesse, he thinks you're a fuck-up. Not when I'm done with him. <clears throat> Jesse, you don't mind if I call you Jesse, do you? I've reviewed your real estate choices and they're weak at best. You know technology, agriculture, but you need Milan properties to run your real estate division. I can tell you what to buy and what to sell and when to do it if you want to make money, if you're into that kind of thing. In all honesty, two to three hundred million, not that much to me. But I am seriously going to review this because there's something about you. I've underestimated you, Michelle Milan. You won't do that again. If my team approves, you'll have a merger agreement by the end of tomorrow. If not, I'm sorry, that's all we can do for you. Well, then I look forward to seeing you at the end of business tomorrow. And so I play in this losing game to hear you speak, to hear you say my name. To hear you say I can't believe it's come to this. Waiting like dogs. Have a little faith in me, Preston. Good God. That's enough, Preston. Seven o'clock. Smells like a fail. Sorry, we're late. Traffic. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for coming. Have a seat. So, I think we'll find the terms of this merger most favorable. I'm sure, but we'll have Dad have a look. As your father and I used to say, let's get to the important pages. <laughs> You know, you really ought to thank Michelle for this. She is one savvy lady. Preston, I'm surprised you didn't come to me with this yourself. Yeah, I, uh... Preston's a little short-sighted. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we have a deal? We do indeed, Jess. I'll see you all next week. I'm gonna personally oversee this myself. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, Shells, I'm proud of you. And uh, if you take a look right here, it says the signature is required by any and all partners. Partner? Yes, honey. Yes, sweetie, you earned it. Preston, this company for the first time now has a partnership. I think you should congratulate Michelle. Congratulations, Michelle. I think you can call me boss. You did it. Whoa. And you deserve a treat. Oh. I'll take that one. All right. I like this success thing. Let's keep doing it. I had one more point I wanted to go over with you, Michelle, if that is uh, OK. Can we uh, discuss? Uh... Yes. Yeah, thanks. Grab the door. Have a seat. I want us to know if you wanted to have dinner with me. That would be wonderful. Are you sure, though, that you don't want something maybe Yes, mistress.
Yeah. 